hi guys so here is a uh, quick uh, tutorial on implementation of uh, talk to vec now we have talked about uh, word to vec in the previous video so there we essentially took the one hot encoded uh, pairs in which we have a target word and a context word so uh, doc to vec is uh, uh, a generalization of uh, using such embeddings for something larger than words now they could be sentences they could be paragraphs they could be uh, pages uh, they could be one books or even the whole libraries uh, so the, how do we do that is uh, so we have two models uh, as in word to work we have uh, skip gram and uh, continuous bag of words so we implemented the uh, skip gram model so we have a similar concept called distributed bag of words uh, and then distributed memory uh, now if you look at the diagram uh, the uh, the lower one uh, so that is distributed bag of words and that looks like uh, a skip gram uh, but uh, one interesting thing is you see a paragraph uh, id there and then we have the classifier uh, which means uh, the context words uh, so it means if you have a sentence and you are creating basically sentence uh, vectors so let's say you you recognize every sentence uh, as uh, an integer uh, so let's say you have 10 sentences and you have uh, just ordered them uh, 0 through 9 uh, now uh, for the 0th uh, sentence all the words in that they are essentially the uh, the context words uh, so uh, if you one hot encode the paragraph and as well as one hot encode the words you could use that and train to get the sentence embeddings then you could do the same uh, for paragraphs uh, and then uh, entire pages uh, and then uh, entire between books and even the library uh, as i just mentioned so this is the intuition of this and the implementation is quite straightforward so i will walk you through that so if you are not familiar with this code so go uh, back and watch my uh, previous video on word to vec and then come back here so i will just uh, go through some of the modifications here uh, so in this uh, i'm having this word to int uh, still so I, I want to keep a track of uh, uh, them the how many uh, words are there so that i could use them in uh, one hot encoding uh, now here what we have is uh, PID, uh, the paragraph ID, uh, and then the label. So let's quickly look at our data frame, uh, our data, uh, so our corpus here. So we have these sentences and uh, we want to give paragraph IDs to them. Now they are not essentially paragraphs, but it's just a convention. We could even call that a sentence ID, which would be just fine. So with ID zero, you have all these other context words. Uh, and based on that we have this uh, data frame uh, now uh, we want to one hot encode the paragraph id as well as the words so uh, we just uh, take the count of the corpus uh, which are the total number of paragraph ids and of course the words now which is similar to our uh, previous code uh, now in this feature ve vector and then uh, our uh, label vector uh, we want to pass on the uh, one hot uh, dimension one hot encoding how many encodings that we need and then uh, with uh, words uh, the labels so we want to pass the number of words there so that's slight change there and rest everything else uh, is the same i will take you to the neural network now now in the input space uh, you have to provide the uh, para size uh, which means uh, the total number of uh, paragraph ids and then uh, of course one hidden layer uh, we should match with your uh, uh, the matrix that's going to multiply with the embedding layer so uh, the weight matrix for the embedding layer and of course the vocab size uh, which is going to match up with your labels so with that everything else is same uh, we train it uh, as usual and we sort of create this uh, matrix uh, now our uh, embeddings uh, our uh, all the paragraph vectors are contained inside w1 as it was the case with word to vec we uh, make that uh, to a numpy array so that we could create a uh, data frame out of it 
uh, now uh, I pass that vector over here and then how many columns that I want so these are the dimensions and of course uh, the the para itself uh, which means the sentence so uh, with that uh, I'm able to represent every sentence uh, in the form of vector uh, that's that's amazing and now uh, I could do a pairwise uh, similarity uh, so uh, take uh, the same thing uh, x and y as the same so we do uh, all versus all comparison and we do a cosine similarity uh, between them and uh, we want to find so wherever there is a match so uh, wherever it matches so we want to find that uh, so I iterate over uh, the shape and the, the similarity over here uh, so each of these items I iterate over it and then I do the arc sort so what it's going to do is to sort it's going to sort by index uh, and then uh, I want to have I want to go for the zeroth index and then uh, that is essentially the target and uh, finally uh, I just uh, print it out now king strong man so it is similar to queen uh, now man is similar to woman so you see now we are able to capture the similarities between sentences so I hope uh, you like this video and I will put this code in github uh, so have fun if you have any questions please post that in the comments and uh, uh, please subscribe uh, so that uh, you would uh, know whenever I upload these amazing videos. Uh, now I will cover more uh, for the NLP aspects, more sorts of uh, vectorization uh, techniques and then uh, I will see you next time. Bye.